in this video, I'm going to explain how to do a print, laminate and cut sticker uh, that can be applied to the inside of a window that can be viewed from the outside. So to do this, we're going to need clear vinyl, white vinyl with a clear adhesive and some application tape. To start off, I've loaded the clear vinyl into the printer. Today I'm using a, an Aurajet 3651G clear. Um, and we're going to print the image onto that in reverse, take it out, mount white vinyl on top of it, put it back into the printer and cut it out. When we're loading the material, we have to make sure that we have enough material out the front and um, so that when we laminate it, we can check our blade pressure when we put it back in. And also the pinch wheel, that the pinch wheel is not too close to the edge. Um, that we step it in just a little bit so that when we load it back, um, the pinch wheel isn't going to be too close to the crop mark. So now that our material is loaded, we can um, go to VersaWorks, bring in the job and send it to the printer. So first of all, we go to File, Add Job to QA, and we select our file. We double click on the job, to access the settings. And the first thing we do is click Get Media Width. It shows us the width of the material on the printer is 1309 millimeters. Um, and we select the amount of copies we wanna print. We're gonna get five in the width here. And then what we want to do is we wanna mirror the image because we're printing it in reverse. Um, then we're gonna select the material, our profile. So in the quality settings, we select Orifol uh, 3651, and that's fine. Then we go down to Marks, um, Crop Mark for Print and Cut Alignment. Then we go to our Cut Controls, and in the Cutting Options, we go to Print Only, and that's it. Then click OK, and Print. So now that our graphic is finished printing, we can advance it forward and um, bring it out enough so that when we go to load it back in, there's enough material at the back so it doesn't trip the sensor. Uh, we can go function, sheet cut. That's it, and now we'll uh, laminate it with white vinyl. So for this part of the process, I'm gonna use um, ordinary application tape. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stick the application tape down over the crop marks um, on each corner. And then I'm going to lay the white vinyl down on top. Uh, and then we can cut through the white vinyl and the application tape to reveal the crop marks for when we put it back into the machine. So now I have my crop marks covered with the application tape on each corner. I'm going to mount my white vinyl on top. Uh, for this, I'm just using a standard white vinyl with a, with a clear adhesive on it. Now I can see where my application tape is underneath the, uh, the vinyl. So what I can do is I can cut gently through and I should be able to reveal 
the crop mark and there it is so that's taken I've cut through the white vinyl and the application tape um, and you can see your crop mark so if I do that on all four corners we can load it back into the printer so now I have my crop marks revealed um, I've made sure that I've put enough vinyl on the front this is the leading edge here I've made sure I've put enough vinyl on the front so that I can check my blade pressure uh, on the printer itself so now we can load it back in and we can cut this out So now we have our material loaded back into the printer um, a couple of things we want to check first. So we need to make sure that the crop marks are on the, lined up on the cut strip. So that's your black strip here. So that's fine. And then we want to make sure that the pinch wheels are outside the crop mark on the right and outside the crop mark on the left. And that's it. We have it all lined up. We can drop our lever and press enter. So now that we have our material loaded into the printer, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move the material back and uh, check our blade pressure to make sure that it's cutting into the vinyl okay. So bring it back there. Function, base point. And then we go to cut config check the force, the force is at 50, so we'll bring that up, we'll bring that up to 100 grams of force to start off with, and we'll do a test cut. And that's perfect. So it's cut the, the circle out, it's left the square, and then we can weed the square out, and we can see then that it's just left a slight indentation in the backing paper so that it's not cutting in too deep and uh, it's just cutting through enough so happy enough with 100 grams of force so then what we can do is we can bring the material back out line it up on the cut strip and when we have it on the cut strip we go function base point comes up hit enter and then we're good to go so now we can go back over to VersaWorks and, uh, and send the job to cut. So when we go back into VersaWorks, we just double click on the job and it brings up our job settings. Where we left off was in the cutting options. So what we do is, the only thing we do is we change from print only to cut only and click OK. And that's it. And then hit print and that sends the job to the printer. And there we have our print, laminate and cut sticker in reverse.